Hey folks, my name is Rob. I'm with Feedback Ranch. That's my company. We do digital marketing web design for small businesses. I'm going to show you if you have a WordPress themed with Divi. If you have a WordPress website with Divi, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set up a Google ad conversion so that you can track your Divi forms. Divi forms are notoriously problematic to track using Google Tag Manager. So if you watch the video before this, I'm going to show you the Google Tag Manager, um, in the other video, it's Google Tag Manager, firing a, a trigger when a element themes or Divi form is running. And that's not a normal thing. It usually doesn't happen. So now what we're going to do is we're going to dive right in and I'm going to show you, I'm, I'm just setting up um, a, uh, a Google Ads account. And basically what we're going to do is we are going to, um, let's get this opened, um, the main thing that we want to have happen is when I go into my website here and I look at this bookkeeper SEO website, what I want to do is when I run ads, I want when this form is filled out to trigger a conversion action in Google ads. Because if you do that and then you set up campaigns in Google ads, Google display ads, and then in Facebook as well, which we'll do on the next video, you will be able to use that Divi uh, form submission as a conversion action and that conversion action in Google ads when used in a campaign for conversions will allow Google ads to use machine learning and the machine learning is really powerful when you do that you will have much more success because we don't want Google ads that just get traction or get clicks you want this conversion and eventually by doing this you use machine learning you'll be able to track how many dollars it costs you to get a form submission and it gives you great control over your Google Ads. So let's dive right in. Now, what I've already done is I have created a trigger, and this trigger works in that when a form is filled out, I already did this in the other video, when you fill out this form, um, it, we are tracking it. We have that trigger, check out the other video. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna dive right into the, the Google Ad part of it here. So in Google Ads, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a couple of things. We're gonna go up to the top. Now, if you're not in this, you need to turn on expert mode okay so i'm going to assume that you have expert mode turned on and the first thing we're going to do is before we even do this what i want to do is two things pre two requisites one i'm going to go to the audience manager okay and so once we get this what we're going to do is we're going to do set up an audience source i'm going to install the google tag google ads tag so i'm going to go set up tag a google ads tag and I'm going to collect uh, generic information. Um, I'm going to turn on restricted processing. And what this is going to do is I'm going to install a, uh, a little tracker. Okay. So now it's saying, how do I want to install this? Install it myself, email it to a developer like me, which we can do for you, or use Tag Manager. I'm going to use Tag Manager. Now, I'm going to come back. There's going to be, in fact, we'll put this way over here so I can kind of, stay organized so here's my google tag manager okay now what you'll see here is i have a couple of tags already going number one i have my google analytics g4 number two i have a ua tag these are both firing on all pages then i have a little thing where a google universal analytics event is being fired when this bk seo form id so when you fill out the form it fires an analytics we have to add two things to this real quick Number one, I'm going to go add new, and this is going to be in all pages, but it's called the, the Google Ads um, Conversion Linker. You have to have this on your site. So um, we're going to go to, well, triggering, I want this to be for all pages. So on all pages, now we hit tag configuration, and what we're going to do is we're going to do the conversion linker. You must have this on, okay? You have to have it on. There's not much to do after it. You just hit go okay so enable linking on all page urls now if you had multiple domains you would say across multiple domains as well um and i'm going to hit save i use the over don't turn the override cookies on so now that's the first part now the second thing we're going to do is we're going to add another all this one's going to be the google ads remarketing tag and this is just a, a more secure way to do remarketing and over here you're going to see google ads remarketing that's what we're going to select, okay? And that's what we had just turned on here. 
So we're going to grab this conversion ID in the Google Ads account. So I came back to where I was, and I'm going over here in the Google Conversion Ads ID. We're going to add the ID. I'm not going to label anything. Um, I'm going to leave all this off, leave everything here, and I'm going to go. Now, user ID, there's a whole other thing with user ID. We'll hit on that a different time. Triggering, I want that on all pages. So those are the first two things that we want to have. So now what's going to happen is as I just save this, which will update it. Now, I don't have any traffic on this site. This is a brand new site with nothing on it, and it's kind of a dummy site. But now if I, I'm going back and forth between Tag Manager and Google Ads, um, now I'm just going to say continue and done. Now, after this video, I'm going to show you something. We need to make audiences out of people that have been to the website. If you're a web designer and you're setting stuff up and you want to get into this Google Ads, Google tracking and stuff, or if you're a marketer looking to do Google Ads, particularly on a Divi theme website, the Divi theme in WordPress, whenever you set up a website, if you don't go turn on the audience creation within your website, either in analytics or in Google ads, all the traffic you get doesn't get added to an audience and you can't remarket to it. And that's what this is for. So just imagine people come to your website through a search ad or whatever it is, then you want to put them in an audience and then advertise to that audience over the next couple of weeks or months. You have to set this up. So please, if you're doing websites for people and you want them to succeed, remarketing is huge. It, it amplifies all your conversions. Don't forget this. So now we have that set up. Now, the second thing we're going to do is we're going to come in and I'm going to go up here and we're going to go to conversions. All right. So once you get conversions open, now we're going to do a couple of other things. Okay. So we're going to set up a conversion so that when you fill out this form, which I now know is being tracked in Google Tag Manager, I have a trigger. When I fill this out, it fires a trigger in Tag Manager. What we're going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say add conversion. And I'm going to say it's a website conversion. Okay. And then that website conversion, I'm going to call it, I actually name it the same thing that I name everything else here, but it's going to be uh, BKSEO contact form Divi. <laughs> right. I'm actually just telling my, oh, this whole scanning thing is super annoying. Um, this is brand new, by the way. Google Ads has rolled out a whole bunch of new stuff. We'll just put the stupid thing in there. And honestly, I haven't checked to see if it does a good job of understanding what. Nope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a conversion action manually. Okay. Add a conversion action manually. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, the category is going to be a lead. We'll keep the energy up here, a contact, okay, or submit lead form. Now, this tries to name it this. I don't want that name. I want BKSEO contact form, okay, because I just want to be able to identify it. I generally don't put a value to things unless it's e-commerce, and it, I have long-form sales, so I don't use a value. If you put a value in there, you can either, you'll be able to track things. Every, so now, this is how many dollars should be associated with it. I don't want any dollars associated with it. Otherwise, I would see, hey, Rob, you've driven $5 million worth of stuff to your website. I don't want that. And then you come into the count. Do I count it every time that form is filled out or just once? I'm going to do just once because I like to be pretty conservative with things. How's the click-through window conversion? You know, I think sometimes it makes sense to do like 60 days so that you get an idea of where did people... So that what this has to do is if somebody shows up to your website and they don't convert till 30 or 45 days later, do you want it attributed to this campaign? And for me, the answer is yes. Um, so I'm going to hit, I'm going to leave everything else here um, and hit create and continue. So now what's going to happen is we're in the same thing. How do you want to install it? You can email it to me. You can do it yourself or do a Google Tag Manager. So when I use Google Tag Manager, it gives me two numbers here. Okay. I'm going to quick hop over. In fact, I'm just going to copy the first one because I know that's what I want. So I want we're going to use these two numbers, and now we're going to set it up in Google Tag Manager. Let's go to Tags. We're going to go New. We're going to go Google Ads um, Contact Form. So I'm going to call it internally. I'm going to fire it when this form ID. Now, I've done this twice, so 
I'm actually going to put two because I think I have two of them. So now I'm saying when this form ID or this form ID, because I actually did this twice. Um, then, so this is the trigger. Now let's make the tag configuration. Over here, we're going to add Google Ads Conversion Tracking. Google Ads Conversion Tracking. Click the first number, the, the, uh, this conversion ID goes right here. Then we're going to grab the second number, the conversion label. We're going to add it in. I'm going to leave the value. I'm going to leave the transaction ID. I'm going to leave the currency code. Enable restriction. I'm going to leave everything else off. And then I'm going to hit save. And I'm going to publish it. Right? I'm going to publish it. I'm going to hit next. And I hit done. Now, one of the other ones that I'll often do is I will set up a trigger for if you're on my website, right? Maybe you have a phone call button. Maybe you, you have a link to a phone call. You would make that link a trigger as well. But what we just did there is create a Google conversion. Now, you're going to want to go in and actually fire that on the website and test it out a couple of times. It takes about 24 hours to see that it's happening. But now what I'm going to show you, do, let's go double check and make sure that this is actually firing in Google Tag Manager. And then over time, it will show up here. So this is Google Ads tracking making a conversion on a divi form this is an actual divi form um, track it with a tag which is in my previous video now we're saying this is going to be a google um, conversion and let's go test all of this information and see if it worked so i'm going to come back to tag manager i just saved it or hit submit so we have the new versions good we're going to hit preview and it looks like i'm still tracking so i'm going to close that Hit preview again. This gets kind of goofy when you have multiple tags open or trackers. Um, so, yep, that's in there. We're going to hit connect. And you always want to make sure that that, so I always come back. Once it opens the new tab, hit continue. Now we'll click around. So articles, did it see the new click? Yep, it saw the click. So we're, we're working here. We're going to go to contact. Let's, let's see if it worked here. Um, hit boom. And now what you're going to see is form submit. Boom, it worked. Google Ads contact form, analytics. You'll see in analytics it tracked it. Over here, if you give it a little bit of time, it'll show up as at least active. And that's the most important thing. So that's how you do that. Now, there's another problem I'm going to dive into. The next video is going to be how do you actually store your stinking um, elegant themes divi Contacts. So when you fill out these contact forms on Elegant Themes, it's just a pain. They disappear. Poof. Gone. I'm going to show you how to use the free HubSpot CRM, which is the best, to automatically connect and track this stuff. And that's the next video. Like and subscribe if this is helpful. If you're trying to grow a business, this is all about how do you do machine learning, great advertising. But check out this HubSpot thing for your Divi-themed WordPress site on, on how to... Keep track of your, your uh, contact forms. This is really helpful stuff, guys.